What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and that's Mike, and we're talking <laughs> Walking Deads. Plural. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing episode 13, Do Not Send Us Astray. Mike. Yes. I mean, look, all right. Good and bad. Yeah, I mean, look, it was... I, w- I will say this, all right? I will say yes. this, and then we'll end the episode. I will say this. Um, they're doing really good. They're really awesome, like, uh, ambush stuff. Ambush yeah, they have scenes good, they have, and plans. Yeah, they have good and plans and that's stuff. Where, yeah. That's where this season has been shining from the very beginning when they attack Negan in the sanctuary and, you mm-hmm. know, everything in between that they've done similar to this. Good stuff. That's good stuff. Um, I agree. But, you know, we've got some things. There's, I think that there's a lot of things that you can really. It, it, there's there's some merit to it, but then there's other things that if you really want to nitpick that even bother you even more. Nitpicking. Nitpicks. N- so let's get into the good. Go ahead, go ahead, shoot it. Shoot me in the face with it. I shoot you in the face with the good. Yeah. Um, I agree with what you said. I like the attack, the plan, stuff like that. I like the Daryl plan that he comes swooping in with the gun with the turret i thought that was pretty cool yep um we both wrote that we enjoyed uh that uh merle spoke with tara about merle spoke daryl spoke about merle to right tara. they spoke merle right they, they mentioned I, merle. Cool. I mean yeah. rick beast mode stuff is always awesome i like where they were going with maggie with her um she she's we we know that she's really on this revenge kick thing, and there was a couple survivors that were like, "Oh, you're you're doing great. Without you, we couldn't have lasted." And Gregory's a dick, kind of a thing. But I think there's a bit of guilt there. You know what I mean? Because she's doing it. Yes, she's saving them, but she's doing it for her own. She has her own agenda. Well, she was doing it for revenge as yeah. opposed to really trying to. I mean, yes, she is trying to, but it's ultimately for revenge. What she comes she, to a sense afterwards, and yeah, know, no, says, I know, I yeah. know, I don't like her. I don't like Maggie go, like being like that loose end kind of a thing. But, but that's the thing; she's now that now she's come around. So that a little, yeah, now she, she understands yeah. exactly. Yeah. But and I also liked how um, she called herself the widow. I thought that was cool. Yeah, yeah, which is uh, interesting because yeah. that wasn't ever a thing. Well, that's what they called this. The saviors called. I no, no. That, I get that, but I'm saying yeah. that wasn't a thing. This is the this is the TV show thing. That wasn't yeah. in the comics or anything, which is fine. I'm just saying. But mm-hmm. um, I feel like it's like, all right, but you're. We have the the Badlands. You know that. That's ah. the widow. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's See, like, what even, are you doing? You know? I didn't even think of it that way. Yeah. But. Anyway, um, I just I, I want to talk about Rick real quick and mm. how in his beast mode. Love it. Yeah. Loving it. However. Yes. So you can cut down like six guys on your own, but you can't take out Negan? Like, really? I don't, like, I, see, this is, this I, I mean, nitpicking. You're nitpicking because you, you watch the show and you're like, that guy's, like, you're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he's he's just, you know, ripping these guys up, you know? Yeah. But then you go against Negan and you have Negan on the run and you, like, you let him get away. Like, obviously, this is where the show becomes just a show. As opposed to it being like, oh my god, anything can happen. I believe in these characters. I believe in their abilities. But then all of a sudden you do that. And then the other thing that happens, and I don't know if you want to go there yet, but we just got to mention it quick. Yeah. I mean, now, the the stuff with uh, the kid Henry. uh, Okay, so you have all this cool stuff happening, and then you have that. Like, that's a device that... You, you, they they can't write around that. You can't figure out a different way to get the saviors out of there and mm-hmm. and all that. Like you really have to have that. Like that was again wasted sque- screen time when you know the kids go like. It, I mean, well, no it- one no one's watching him. No one's keeping an eye on this kid. Really, it's like we know from the episodes in you know the last couple episodes where he's like carol i can help i can do this and that and carol was like eagle-eyed you, with them right right you want to maybe keep a better eye on this kid and then where did he get the key i mean we obviously know that he found the gun but it's like what was even the point of opening up he i mean you're Why not was there a gun just sitting wall. there well that that too i mean that too but yeah even even prior in the beginning of the episode remember with ezekiel there was the gun there and he's like can i have that gun just when they come but it's mm-hmm. just it is it's and I heard this from a lot of people that they they could have done it in some other way for the saviors to escape. I mean, what are they? They're setting up this kid 
kid Henry for something. Now, um, are they or is it? Yeah, I, same I, I mean, thing. It's the same thing with that savior. Like who who care who is that? Who cares? Yeah. Oh, what the, is that? The good the, the good savior the blonde, guy. Yeah, the, the blonde guy, the guy that's that's now you know reformed savior. Like, yeah, there's a few of them uh, that actually stayed. But yeah, but we we didn't see them. We we just know of them. He's like they were the ones that were well, trying to keep were, the they zombies were out. Keeping the fence. Yeah, right. They, they had like a quick scene where they were holding the the, the from gate afar, closed. right? But yeah, the point is, what do they? What are you? What are you doing? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I know, I know. We can sit there and rip that apart all day. It's just there's they, they could have sat back an extra, you know, hour or so in 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 this in this brain and brainstorm a different way of going about that. But that's why I say I think that there's something different and something planned for him. I mean, yeah, look, that, that uh, yeah, there's got to be like it's why? It's I stupid. mean, yeah, you're wasting yeah. all this time and money and and film, so to speak, on these characters. But it to me again that device was like, why why you're gonna it's gonna be the kid that the, like I don't know I just didn't like it it was yeah. that was the weakest uh, part of it for me. Oh hell yeah. Um, how about uh so Carol and Tobin I completely forgot they about had little... their little tryst that they that they had and then I was like oh yeah that's right and then and then he's looking to, and then I com- then again I completely forgot about the the Negan's plan. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're looking sick and I'm like, oh man. I was well, like, they were clever in uh... they were clever in that everybody they were showing everybody getting healed. I kind of didn't realize that either until until afterwards. When yeah. you know but I mean let's get into that because now you have how is everybody just so number one, everybody's together in this in the in the building in Hilltop. Mm-hmm. You just you just were attacked. You just lost a lot people of people sleeping on the floor. All, like, yeah, but they're all how how can everybody be so sound asleep that they don't hear this this guy that turned rolling bum, 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 boom boom down on the staircase to the floor? <laughs> you don't hear people screaming. Where was everybody? And, everybody in everybody was asleep. And how yeah, and how quickly are they turning? <laughs> he bites the dude. He bites the two the two dudes in the in the trailer, Tobin. Then he bites yeah. the woman, and then she's walking behind him into the house. Yeah, That's well, uh, um, like immediately, immediately yeah. there. And then it's like that should have been like early morning. Like I mean, it took it took Beth uh, over overnight to turn. It took yeah. you know it. It's like well, they did they did a little clock. You saw the clock thing. No, but. Where, Tobin. No, no, is, no for him. Know. But then once no, I know, him, I know. it was like I, I will, they're all zombies all of a sudden. And you're I, right. The guy's falling down the stairs and everyone's not like, what are you doing? Like Everybody had a nice, real deep sleep. We just fought. We just fought off the Savior's yeah. It makes me tired. And then we had a know? nice big meal and we all fell we asleep. We all crashed. Wait, but, then. Yeah. Because then it's like that. All of that. Mm. And then you have where. Um, they never showed they the only person that I can recall being st- I could be wrong, but the only person I recall ever being attacked by a knife is Tobin. Everyone else was cut up. They didn't they didn't lather like their shot, bullets. Like no, shot they, with a... Did they lather their bullets? I mean, yes, a lot of them had bows and arrows, and a lot of them took arrows in the beginning. Mm-hmm. So I guess, but I'm assuming maybe, so. I mean all right, I maybe guess listen, listen, been, listen yeah. when we're talking about and this is kind of interesting. We never seen that that biological part of it, that warfare using bullets and weapons and tainting right, yeah. and everything like that. So maybe because it's such a direct injury and it's immediately implanted is that, that bacteria is immediately into the body. It goes into bloodstream quicker and maybe you change faster that way because you're, you're injured by one of these tainted weapons, these arrows or these bullets or whatever it was, you were a knife well, or something. Yeah. So maybe it's just more immediate. I mean, I agree with that, but don't forget, you know? to- Tobin bit a lot of people, and then they started biting other ones. How about the fact How they that turning Tobin, so fast? Tobin bites some new doctor? Oh, let's go to the doctors. What the yeah, fuck, dude. It's like we had this big thing where we gotta get, you know, uh, uh, fucking Gabriel. We gotta get. Oh, we gotta get. Dr. We gotta get him back. Hey, don't shoot get... him. He's gotta get back. Right? Shoot, they kill that guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, they... every time you fucking turn around, then there's they... some other doctor. Yeah, they got Sadiq. He's oh oh oh. We're like oh, he's gonna be. 
Oh, yeah. okay, now, cool. Where, where did this lady come now from? Now you got this lady. And this lady reminded me of the the uh, Terminus lady. Yep. I don't know if you thought that yourself too, but she kind of reminded me. No, you just a lot you, of you symbolic... saying it now reminds me of it. Yeah. Um, but it's like where the f- like are where are they three D printing doctors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? You, you know, know, it's I don't I don't know, dude. It, it, that's one of the the most important professions, and we've talked about this several times that you can have on your side during something like this, this apocalyptic show. And it's just like anytime um, a doctor's around, they're, they're, they're gone. They're dead. Negan threw Dr. Carson's brother into the furnace. That's why they wanted Dr. Carson back again. You know, you had Herschel in the beginning and, and then you had Denise Tara's girlfriend that was killed. You just had so many of these, these people and they just die off like that. Right. And yeah. this chick, I'm just like, who the hell is this chick? Out of nowhere. Yeah. And she's and she's a and she's being a dick. And she's a dick. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> so even more the important reason that she seems like she knows her shit. Right. That she's like, have you ever performed surgery before? Yeah. You know, and all this, so obviously she knows her stuff. So where the fuck did she come from? Well, it doesn't matter. She's dead now. Yeah, well, but yeah. To, and the, 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 I I hate being like I can't help it, and I and, and I and I hate our these episodes being us just ragging on it. But I mean, what I mean, I, I'm not going to praise a show that isn't smart anymore. The show, mm. Mike, isn't smart anymore. They're yeah. they're 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 ham fisting everything. They're force feeding us. Of Carol finds Tobin. Of yeah. course, Carol's the one that finds Tobin. Couldn't be Tara. Couldn't be you know. Um, uh anyone else it had to it had to be carol because she had that little bit of a moment earlier in the episode from last something from uh 10 seasons ago and it's like yep. you're not being smart about it you and- know what it is dude this is one of those storyline these kind of plots that they try to throw on us all the time you're trying to make tobin uh, and remind us, like, oh yeah, that guy, that guy, and and we're trying to they try to make his death more meaningful, like they did with Eric, Aaron's boyfriend. You didn't even remember who the fuck he's this been dude in was. maybe ten episodes so, the yeah, entire series. So they kill him off, you know. So they try to build up somebody. So you're like, oh yeah. So you, know you kind of have a feeling about them, an emotion about them, like, oh they're gonna, oh poor guy, he, he died. Remember that time he was fooling around with Carol? <laughs> so it's like, but they don't do it enough. They don't. There's too many characters. They don't build the character up. There's too many to where do. we give a shit, right? So there's no. I guess they feel like there's no room just to have a bunch of Tobin stuff or a bunch of Eric stuff or a bunch of these secondary characters that they're they not want even secondary. They're tertiary. They're just. They're just. Yeah, they want us to to feel something about these characters that are dying, but we don't give a shit because they're doing it. They're going about it all the wrong way, dude. There are so many shows. Yeah, we're watching so many shows that that do that do things like this. You can do crazy stuff. You can do off the wall stuff, but why can't it just be written? Just more like smarter. Why does it have to be like my audience is dumb as is dumb as a bag of rocks, and mm. I have to force feed them to everything? Like, why can't you make this a show that's thoughtful? It used to be thoughtful. You, you sat and you thought about it. That's why we started this podcast thing mm. because we we wanted to talk about it and be like, oh, you know, I, I dude, there's so many shows that are that are just as good that are I'm sorry, better than The Walking Dead right now, mm-hmm. and it's well, just like they're very thoughtful. Like it makes you it makes you yeah. think about the actions of these people and like, Oh, where's this going to go? What's going to happen? But they're just, they're just, and they're just force feeding the audience. And you know, we're still here because we've been here for eight years now. Yeah. And people have dropped off and I love the characters and you know, I, I want to, I want to see this in action. I want to see these stories, but yeah. Well, I have an, I have an answer for you. Yeah. We're feeling this way because there's too many fucking characters. This, uh, yes, it is absolutely too many. There's characters. way too many characters. Um, there's a lot of characters in the comic book, but the comic book is phenomenal because there's different ways that you can you can show. You're you're reading this. But it's the nature of the medium. It it's, yeah, yeah, you yeah can, exactly. You can do that. It's too many characters. They're trying to force a lot of stuff upon us to make us care about a character that they don't give us enough right. screen time to even care about, but care about me what did we what did we say 
with the Negan Rick episode and stuff like that. We loved it because the best actors were in it. Mm -hmm. There weren't many characters in it, but it was the best characters. And that's why we enjoyed those episodes. Mm -hmm. Give me more of Rick and Negan and Simon and, and Daryl and Carol, you know, Daryl's even annoying me a little bit, but yeah, you know, when you put the best stuff together, you're going to have the best episodes. And I said that. But give them better. But that's the thing. But give them better situations. Like the situations well, are just I'm, you're putting them in these mediocre situations to me. Yeah. And again, this, you know, the saving grace of this episode was, you know, a, you know, the ambush and what they did to fight back. Like it's giving us something to yeah. show that our because how many times can they be chased down and chased down and chased down and been attacked and been attacked and you're going to die. You're going to die like. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, we're kind of, we're knocking this episode. It's more of a negative thing than listen. I still enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed um, it more so really, than the last when, couple. When you break yeah. it down, when you listen, the the ambush stuff and like you said, the plan of attack is has been really cool. I like how they did a couple. The, you know, they had that um, battle in Maggie's mind and things like that. But it's like. When you really sit there and break it down, especially that's why we're doing this sh this podcast is we're breaking this down. We want you guys to to break it down along with us and let us know what you think also. But it's it's when you, when you look at it, it you can't help but yeah pick at things and you like, feel bad. You do feel bad because I feel bad listening to us shit on yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> now here's something else that Morgan. All right, like Morgan sees dead people. Morgan was one of my like one of my favorites when Morgan came back, like, holy shit. When Morgan came back for clear, holy shit. When Morgan came to Alexandria, finally, after the training with, yeah. um, what's his, his, uh, the, whatever. The guy, yeah. The guy that taught him the bow. Um, so now he's seeing the, let's stop with the fucking seeing, uh, Lori and seeing, you know, I just can't. And mm -hmm. I can't even dude, I, I kind of understood and I want to get your idea because I told you what I thought of what um, the guy Gavin was saying. He was saying um, uh, you were supposed to and you know what it is and all this kind of stuff. And basically it's it's Morgan is is fighting with himself because he knows he should have been the one to do it mm -hmm. and to kill Gavin. And I feel what does like, he say? What does Gavin say? Uh, you were supposed to. No. He says, yeah. "You." I wrote it down. He, he says, says, "You were supposed to," and they go, "You know what it is. You, you know, know what, what it is. is. You know what it is. What does that mean?" Yeah. So I'm taking that as the fact that he feels he was the one that was supposed to take mm, out. Okay, and he knows what's going on with Henry. Maybe his his doing because mm -hmm. Henry initially, uh, you know, killed Gavin in the end, mm -hmm. and Morgan lied to him. You know, so it's, you know, it was, it was, I just, I don't know. I just hate seeing Morgan crazy like that. Morgan like was, became one of my like least favorite characters. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like the same thing. Well, get ready. Cause he's going to be in fear of the walking dead. I know. I know. Which but is going to be, I'll say, I'll say one thing though. That latest trailer. It looks cool. I think it actually, it might, if, if, yeah, it might. It might be good. It might be better because it looks like they're doing something different, and there is a time jump now. So yeah, they're gonna be all right up at the same time with with walking. They're up in Texas now, or down in Texas. It looks up, like they were in, in Texas. Well, no, they said it. They're in Texas. Yeah, it looks like they were. Um, they had like a stadium or something, right? It was yeah, nice yeah. So, uh, but yeah, they, you know, and then or Jenna Elfman's in it. Like yeah, it it looks like it looks more Mad Max, more apocalyptic than. Yeah than this show does and i i think i might be on board i mean that's the direction they were going when they were in that in that other bazaar and stuff but anyway that's, that's well let's see show. let's see if since they got the time jump maybe the walking dead won't do a time jump nah i think they still will anyway think so? all right look all right uh let's uh one last a couple last things i just uh, a couple of positive things you had was shown yeah. in jesus team up which was cool yes. i'd love to see more of that i'd love i would see like half an hour's worth of the, of team ups like that yeah, you know Jesus, and you saw Jesus for and... two seconds. Like he held the guy, the, the walker up against with his leg, and then yeah. she, you that, know, that's what I'm saying. That was cool. Yeah, I enjoyed it was that cool. Stuff, it was a minute yeah. though. It was a quick, you know, yeah, it was a quick. It was a, it was a hot minute. Um, and um, I mean, Tara, Tara's looking... not dead. 
Tara Team Dwight. Team Dwight, down. yeah, she, you know, obviously she doesn't know he's the one that shot her, but, you know, uh, yes. How would he know? Does she, she, she doesn't. No, she doesn't know that. How, how the hell would she know that? She wouldn't know that. There's I, no way for her to know that. Because it was an arrow. They all had arrows, though. They That's how they opened up fire. Oh, and, and can I just say one other dumb thing? No, because they saw, they saw, Daryl saw him. No, Daryl did. And, so you're saying she, he told her? Yeah, he was with her. That's why they had that whole. Oh, he said he's the one. Oh, that was why. They, yeah, okay, probably. Anyway, Simon, <laughs> we, you, 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 you got attacked mm. with machine guns and and bombs and all this stuff, and you watch them retreat into the house. Yet you boldly just walk up to the big flat fronted house. I like, almost forgot about that, and none of them died. What? You're all clustered together. You're you talking say, in the middle of the ground and out and open, out in the open, like, okay, you guys go that way. This is we're gonna end it. I'm saying some words because that's all I do. I stand around and I say these these <laughs> menacing words. Yeah. And then they take one step and then they oh they turn the lights on and they open up a valley. Like yeah. And Why? they didn't get anybody. Why? What was is everybody that? In every, there was a oh, gunman in every fucking God. window. They were all clustered. In they couldn't one... see anything, and yet they could get away. Uh, Whatever. I don't, I'm done. I know. It's rough. It's, I'm over it. Look, some, things are, some things, I mean, listen, just, but I, I like the episode. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> I, I, liked, I, liked about, I liked about 50, 50% of the episode. Yeah. Some of it was just was just Some ridiculous. stuff is tough because you get some cool stuff with the fighting and then they kind of let you down with the Henry stuff and Well, Henry stuff, but even like even them getting attacked it it's such it's so bittersweet because them being attacked in their home mm. everyone getting and then they're like what the hell's going on? What? What is it? What? What? And then the little <laughs> mystery like wait, what? You know, like I mean, listen, when when everybody started coming coming back and Tobin came back and they it's reminiscent of the prison with that one kid that got sick. Remember? Yep. And he he started kill, uh, biting people, and they had it. They had to fight off everybody in the prison. So it was kind of like an homage to that, which I mean, I thought was cool. Um, it's cool to see some Walker stuff. I mean, yeah, but, but I just again the whole them them turning so quickly. The ones, I know, the ones that were bitten and whatever. Yeah. Point is, look, yep. we're almost there. Mm-hmm. We've got three more to go. It's it is what it is. I just I want I just want it to be over. I want them to move forward. I'm getting yeah. I'm getting tired of this Negan stuff. It's it really has and this is what I was afraid of way yeah. back when this started. They were gonna drag this out and they have dragged it out. It it needs to end this season. You better end it this season because I'm gonna be personally like it's gonna be hard for me to come. I mean, yes, I'll probably come back because uh, I want to see what happens. But well, of course. But it's gonna it's gonna be with a heavy heart because it's gonna be like, stop! Enough with this. You mm-hmm. need to move forward. You this is the you've decided to do Negan, but now you have to finish Negan. You have to finish this dumb storyline because you've well, dragged it out happens. to a point yeah, where it's let's, just. Let's see. If listen, they can... they've oh. gone, Mikey. They've gone completely in in. Oh, we're not gonna make this like the comic. Okay, fine. But you've done just. I don't know. Whatever. They've just gone in a direction. It hurt. It, it pains me, man, because I love this show. I love this I content. I love this universe. And I have to sit here and I have to trash talk it because I'm not going to sit here and say it was great because it wasn't great and it hasn't been great. But well, I mean, you know, let us, you know I, listen, I, you know, the rant, it was, it tended, uh, it, it's, it seemed to turn into a bit of a rant, but it's it's but we it's don't want to stop talking about it we don't exactly. want to stop talking about it so exactly we're not. Right. so but we are now we are going to stop right. now though yes yeah. so you guys continue the conversation in the comments below the video let us know what you thought about the episode of course we love getting all the comments from you guys <clears throat> uh check us out on instagram a third person pod check us out on facebook a third person pod and of course uh don't forget to check us uh out on itunes have a listen to us yeah sorry sorry for all the negative ranting guys i'm sure we'll get just, some negative comments just gotta be we gotta be honest you know what i mean it's, it is what yep. it is but uh having said all of that <laughs> once again thanks for watching everybody we love you and we'll see you on the next episode peace peace